day 1051 it's 10 5 p.m just got home from church uh we went there for x18 group um yeah it was a good day today woke up 4 30 did my push-ups did my cold shower went to the gym realized it is so important that i get more sleep for the gym like to to have the strength that i need to get through those freaking workouts um and then came back home and i took like a four hour nap and i didn't feel bad about it at all it was like i need the sleep and uh kind of pushed things back in my day um and then i got to church and i had a choice i was either going to work on the warriors of god presentation because we had to call it six or i was going to read the bible for an hour which is on my list of things uh on my battle calendar the next level and i was like okay god i choose you and so i sat in my car outside the church and i read the bible for an hour and going into it, I was like, God, I know you're going to give me something to teach these warriors on the call. And that's exactly what he what he did. And I highlighted one of the verses um, that talks about at the end times that they're going to be believers, that because of their wisdom, they're going to shine like the heavens and uh, they're going to lead people to righteousness and shine like stars. And just talking to uh, the warriors about that and how important it is for us to be in the word of God. And I this is two days in a row now where I've read the Bible for an hour and my mind feels so much stronger it feels so much purer it feels so much cleaner it is amazing and i can't even describe it it just feels more pure it just feels more clean more clear um more protected it's crazy uh and so i'm excited because i thought that was going to be the hardest thing for me to do is read the bible an hour a day and it's actually my favorite thing that i'm doing every day um it's only been two days but that's still every day the last two days and I actually really enjoy it. It is my favorite part of my day, which is exciting. I, I I love that I love reading the Bible the way that I am right now. So I got through all of Daniel, the book of Daniel, uh, which was amazing. It changes my perspective on life. Like the Bible is just the most incredible thing, like other than God. Like the Bible is just where it's at. And so, yeah, I'm very, very grateful for that. And uh, I was I was leaving today and uh, my roommate was talking about how she's feeling and all this stuff. And she's like, yeah, I, I really, when you're at church, she said, could you pray for me? Because, and I was like, yeah, what do you need prayer for? She's like, just for the darkness to leave me, like the darkness that's attacking me just for it to leave. And I was like, wow, that's an interesting prayer for her to ask. Um, and I walked outside and God was like, go pray for her. And I was like, no, God, like, I don't want to pray for her. That'll be weird. Like I'll do it at church. I'll do it while I'm driving. I'll do it while I'm driving. And God's like, go pray for her. And I went back in and then came back out, stood outside my car for like two minutes and argued with God, like tried to justify why I wouldn't go do it now. And then I walk in there and she's in the bathroom. And I'm like, Hey, can I pray for you before I go? And she like opened the door. She's like, what? And she was like, I was just standing here, like telling God that I need him to be my source and I need prayer. And, and then you walked in and I was like, wow. So I start praying for her and at the same time, both of our phones start ringing and she looks at me, she's like, wow, distraction. And I'm like, yeah. And I just prayed this powerful prayer. And at the end we were both like, that was significant. Like we just knew it was significant. And so, um, that obedience to God, like, I don't know what it did, but I know it shifted something in the spiritual realm. And I know when I'm in heaven, God is going to show me that moment of when I was obedient and I prayed, even though I was uncomfortable, I didn't want to, and I was resisting it. Um, but that obedience is more important. And so I know it shifted something in the spiritual realm and, um, it was just good to be obedient like that. So, and to know that I could help her, um, yeah, cause she's going through a lot. So yeah, it, uh, it was a good day. I need to go to sleep like immediately cause it's already 10, 10 and I have to wake up at four 30. So six hours and 20 minutes, I have to wake up. Good thing I slept four hours today.